Hi there and welcome to another video from Max Revs. I promise this will be the last update video that I do before I actually bring you the glorious sound of my exhaust. So I thought I'd just kind of update you what's been happening during this week. So let's start with uh, the valve controller key fob. As you know, uh, this is the actual key fob I have. And um, we've got the, the lock button and the unlock button. As you'd expect, unlock should open the valves. So John Gados got back to me from Soul Performance. They had a look into this and I thought it's very funny actually. So all the controllers that they've ever sold on Caymans have been wired the wrong way around. Meaning if you click unlock, it actually closes the valves. If you click lock, it opens the valves. Now the reason why probably no one cares about this in the States and why they've never heard about this issue is home link is a standard feature on all Caymans in the USA. I'm not sure about 911s. So what all their customers do, they get the signals off the key fob, they program the home link buttons on their car, and then they've essentially got like one and two, whatever the buttons do. And that's that, they don't use the key fob. John's kind of mentioned this to me. The guys in the US do not use the key fob. I don't have home link on my car, so I need to use the key fob. So they've looked into it. We tried basically um, taking the back off this and uh, trying to see if we can swap these buttons. That's not possible. However, what John's managed to do from the supplier that makes the key fobs is he's found another kind of a silicon insert with the buttons the other way around. So he's shipping that to me. Thank you, John. I did think that was quite funny uh, that they've always been like that. It took someone in the UK to actually let them know of this. So, you know, that's R&D, you know, so we're all helping the community here. Thanks, John. I'll wait for that in the post. Uh, number two, uh, the picture that was actually on my uh, channel with regards to the fitment and how tight it was. You saw there was a picture I put from the Soul Performance website where there's about this much clearance between the back of the transmission and the X pipe on my car. Uh, literally, it was all touching to start with. We found out the car from their website, that's a PDK car. So if you have a Cayman, which is a PDK gearbox, you have a lot more space at the back of the car. The fitment of a Soul Performance exhaust is a lot more tight on a manual car. It can all be done it can all be done well but just be aware that kind of the fitment can be quite tight uh, and i'd love to also mention thirdly the garage that did the work for me i know there's a few comments on the kind of one of my other videos around how they kind of mark the exhaust this that and the other i think at the end of the day i've slept on it i've had a chance to kind of reflect i think they did the best job that they could um, obviously some markings picked up they had to use some tooling to get the stuff on um, i'm kind of happy with how it all ended, ended up in the day i was a bit delicate you saw i had rubber gloves handling the exhaust when it arrived <laughs> there was no need for that whatsoever but i'm glad the exhaust is fitted i'm just working during the week i have to wait at the weekend to get the car out and i want to make sure i do a proper audio comparison so that's all that um, another great thing a guy on the channel reached out to me He's got a Cayman 987, the Cayman R, with PSE. And he told me that at certain revs, even if you have PSE on the 987, it will close the valves, uh, basically to kind of stay within certain noise limits or something. So I didn't know about that. I'll put the video in the link below so you can see this. He shows you how you can basically keep the valves open all the time if you've got PSE on the Cayman R. But it also did, yeah, it didn't, I didn't realize that, that you know, if you go the official route with PSE, the valves won't be open all the time. So you're not gonna get all that sound. Uh, just as a quick, heads up the sound is glorious it's, it's a lot deeper it's a lot richer i found out subsequently i don't need to run the exhaust in obviously the cats are in the headers and the lambda sensors are all in that part so i'm ready to just go kick that out of the exhaust and enjoy life and cars to the max so i'm going to do that uh, stay tuned i want to probably spend about a week making the video because i want to make sure i capture everything right uh, give me a bit of time for that this is the last update the next video will be the exhaust enjoying life and cars to the max see ya